Um, this is not really related to anything. I just thought you would want to know that, know this. Um, I am still a Democrat. The, you, I'm sure you know, the Christian church in the United States, for the most part, this, uh, you're dealing with the religious right. And a lot of these people are really, really hardcore conservative. Now, when I first became a Christian, I was influenced, that by a, influenced by that a lot because it was all new to me. And, you know, there was a lot of pressure. It was the time of the George W. versus Gore. That's when I first became a Christian. And there was a lot of, like, you got to vote for George W. because he's the evangelical candidate and yada, yada, yada. And, you know, I almost bought. I almost did, but I wound up not voting for him. And I wound up staying a Democrat. I almost switched. You know, I moved to the right a little just because of all the peer pressure or pressure. But then over the years, I've just, you know... I, it's not necessarily justifiable scripturally. It's more of a culture thing. And I'm sure you've thought about this. That's why I'm bringing this up, because I'm sure you have an opinion on the matter. Um, you know, if you're just taking the Gospels themselves and you're trying to line up a political attitude with, if you're trying to, if you're saying I'm a Christian and I want to line my votes up with, with uh, what the Gospel teaches, you can make a really strong case that Jesus is a liberal. I mean, more obviously than you could that he would be a conservative, it, the way the conservatives think of it. You know, you, you, you know that what you have done unto the least of my children, you have done unto me. There's, the compassion for the poor is like suffused through the Gospels. And Jesus teaches it constantly. And he's always ra railing against the rich and the powerful to one degree or another. Now, you could make some sort of arguments that that, you know, I, I'm sure they, they, that hardcore conservatives try to square that a different way where they say, you know, well, he didn't mean the government, you know. I, you know, I'm just saying, I'm just throwing it out there. I don't necessarily find that Republican politics lines up with Christianity whatsoever. You know, there are some things that I agree with the Republicans on. I become a, I become a center left over the years. I'm still a Democrat. I'm a very moderate Democrat. As far as Christians go, you know, I'm like Karl Marx compared to most Christians. Um, I'm nowhere near as liberal as you. I do ha actually, though, for example, um, I come to think that universal health care is probably the best route, wherein you know, poor people need medicine. They need to, they, when they're sick, they need help. They're going to need to go to doctors. And I don't see any other way to get medicine in their hands but universal health care. You know, get them access to medical treatment outside of universal health care. Now, I don't necessarily base that on the scriptures. It's just something I've come to, to think that there's no other real way for poor people. But that does line up with the scriptures. You know, that does line up with the Christian Compassion for the for for the dispossessed and the less fortunate to me is central to the gospel, central to the teachings of Jesus. So, you know, I'm sure there are counter arguments that conservatives make that that doesn't mean you give control to the government. And I have some empathy to some degree, but that's all I'm saying. I'm just throwing that out there. I'm sure you have an opinion on the matter, and I'm curious what it is. So that's why this is unrelated to anything we do. I'm just curious. Okay, thanks.